Have you ever wondered if our cities are built for sustainability or simply for convenience? We're living in a time of rapid urbanization, with cities around the globe turning into sprawling metropolises. They're home to high-density populations, where every square inch seems to be bursting with life. But with growth comes a host of problems. Pollution clouds our skylines, waste management is a daily hurdle, and traffic congestion, well, we all know about that one. Our urban landscapes are transforming at an unprecedented pace, and the footprint of these cities is growing larger by the day. Let's not forget the carbon emissions either. Every city, every town, every metropolis contributes to an alarming increase in our global carbon footprint. And then there's the waste. Mountains of it generated every day, posing a challenge that seems insurmountable. Our cities are growing, but are they growing sustainably? It's the urban conundrum we find ourselves in, and it's high time we addressed it. Sustainability is no longer a choice, but a necessity. So what exactly does a sustainable city look like? Imagine a city where economic growth, environmental stewardship and social equity walk hand in hand. It's a place where green spaces thrive amidst concrete jungles, where renewable energy powers homes and businesses, and where everyone, regardless of their social or economic status, has access to clean air, clean water, and secure housing. Let's talk numbers. Sustainable cities have the potential to drastically cut down carbon emissions, significantly contributing to global climate change mitigation efforts. They can also enhance public health by reducing air and water pollution. And let's not forget the improved quality of life. Imagine living in a city where you can breathe clean air, enjoy green spaces, and have access to efficient public transportation. We need to rethink our cities for our sake and for the sake of future generations. The future of our cities is in our hands. It's a heavy responsibility, but also an exciting opportunity. You see, sustainability isn't just about grand plans and sweeping changes. It's about the little actions that each of us can take every day. Imagine if we all made an effort to reduce our waste, to recycle more, to compost. Picture our cities if we all chose to walk or cycle or take public transport instead of driving. Envision the impact if we all decided to support our local businesses, the heartbeats of our communities. Our cities are not abstract entities. They're living, breathing organisms made up of us. Every action we take, no matter how small, influences their sustainability. With each choice we make, we're shaping the future of our cities. So I ask you, what will you do to make your city more sustainable? The choice is yours.